are attempting to bend some big copper this time. We have a pipe bender right here, good for a half inch and three quarter inch EMT. I have some M type copper pipe that we are going to fill with salt and sugar. It didn't work last time on the small stuff. And we're going to try and roll it to the shape of that thing. We just need the basic circumference of it so that we can make a heat exchanger. We'll get back to you once it's full, sealed, and we attempt to bend it. Okay guys, we're going to attempt to bend this pipe. Uh, this could be a catastrophic failure. We got uh, it filled with just conventional table salt, table salt, rewind, <laughs> and we are going to try to bend it. Uh, if Kyle comes in and zooms in, what I've done is made a template here on the workbench that is basically the arc that we need to come to a conclusion with, and that is a trace of the piece of steel that we made for a heat shroud or the rocket stove. So inevitably we need two of these rolled into that shape, and so we're going to give it a try. So, uh, just conventional pipe bending, it slides in, slides in, uh, and you make a slight pressure to bend it. We go over length, as long as our arc is close, going over length is fine. Looks like we need a little tighter of a bend yet. Hey guys, we're back. We had success. We have almost an identical match of the two bends. I currently marked our outside limits that will be the length of the heat exchanger. Um, and we'll go from there. Right now I'm just cutting this copper pipe. We'll drain the salt out and put it back in my wife's cupboard. I think we need a container <laughs> or something. All right guys, I got a template here. So here's my stopper edge. I measured out 28 inches. I'm gonna cut 18 pieces of the straight half inch pipe at 28 inches. Hey guys, right now we are straightening our heat exchanger return line and uh, trying to fit them into the holes that we drilled. As you see, we got our holes drilled in the plenum that fits within our heat exchanger shield. And we started soldering some of them just to see how it would work. And uh, again, it's not the prettiest soldering job, but it will suffice. So if they are sealed and we'll go from there as we keep going, we'll give you updates.
guys, Kyle and I are back here with the rocket stove modifications for the heat coil. We added our last pieces of pipe and got it watertight. So what we did is we went around all the joints with some soap water and put pressure on the pipe with the compressor and just watched for air bubbles. We found probably a dozen of them because my soldering is not all that pristine and as you can see it's not pretty but it's hiding so it's not a big deal. We did get it airtight, uh, no more no more bubbles. We're going to try and install it on a rocket stove and uh, eventually we have some hot water points for this 